Hi everyone, my name is Betty Maud. I am a prevention resource worker with Tukanagan and today I will be sharing about the talking stick and um, a little history of what the talking stick is. It's similar to an eagle feather and also a rock and we use these items to whenever we're doing sharing circles um, individuals will be sharing and when whoever's holding the item the rock or the feather or the talking stick is an opportunity for them to share and it gives strength sometimes uh, individuals have a hard time with bringing out maybe something that's bothering them or something that's good in their life like say they got encouraged or something came up a, a gift that was given to them so you hold the item in your hand this rock and you share whatever and no one can interrupt when that person is sharing so as well as the the eagle feather in ceremonies and gatherings they hold the eagle feather and you talk your truth and it gives you inspiration to share your story um i brought the drumstick uh because of some of the work that i did on the that i did that you can add on your talking stick this one has beadwork and there's some feathers on there um as well as this one here so this is the one i just made recently uh, i just wrapped uh the four colors uh representing the four races and um so yeah just a unique way of decorating your talking stick and this is the one i'm working on right now um actually i went to the bush and you can get this while you're out in the bush and you can peel it so you can see that kind of the steps that i've done already and this is the one i'm working on now so i'm i'm sewing and using sinew and i'm going to decorate this talking stick there's many things that you can do with the your talking stick you can add beads yarn felt hide uh, fringes you can add in feathers on the bottom there's yarn here there's hide here many other things and i got beads here uh, to do bead wrapping on your talking stick and the talking stick is an opportunity to like like i shared there that uh, to share your voice matters and i want to share with our youths that you know anytime you may need to share you could be by yourself you can go in the bush and get yourself a, a branch a stick out in the bush and or you can you know if you're with your friends you can have a sharing circle and share some of the stuff that that you may be carrying and um also good things too you know that's encouraging knowing that these trees are from nature and like the rock they've been on this earth for thousands of years and um, again with the stick you know it, it represents that strength strength that we all have that you all have and um, and then when you do that sharing it it lightens what you're carrying as you're making your um, decorating your uh, talking stick I just want to say that you know there's no right and wrong uh, when you make it because uh, it's going to be one of a kind and um, so you go with the flow and add on whatever decorations you want to add to your talking stick you can even paint on here i forgot to mention you can paint on here uh you can also use if you have a wood burning tool you plug it in heat it up then you can make designs with that wood burning tool on your stick so that's another unique uh, uh, way of decorating your stick to mention on safety uh, we always have to have that, uh, that um, to always be careful. There are objects that I use that are sharp, so it would be best that you could be with your parents or an older person to help you. And this one here, like I mentioned, the Glover needle, it's very, very sharp. I have to use this to push my needle through because that hide is very, can get pretty hard to put a needle through, so I use this. And when I was uh, cl uh, cleaning off the, um, uh, 
the caulking stick I use my sharp knife so you got to be really really careful also you'll be using scissors and possibly um, like pliers so those are some of the, the these are the tools that you would be using sometimes you might use a saw so like again safety first we don't want anyone getting hurt and we want you to enjoy making your decorating your your talking stick just, i'm just putting the high that's my first first step and then whether i'm going to put beads on there or feathers sequins um, so yeah just gather all your supplies and what you all need and then you start pulling it together and that's when i put this hide on the drumstick i mean the <laughs> i'm getting mixed up here because <laughs> i'm looking at these <laughs> but my talking stick so that's my basically my my second step is just now I'm starting to do the decorations on there <laughs> maybe you'll see a stick on your walk and you pick it up and then you'll say hey you know I can make a, a, drum, um, a talking stick with this and uh, something you can keep keep it in your room as I mentioned before 
find a safe place and you know whenever you're having those days just hold your stick and it can be also good things too and um, the important message I would like to say as well doing the talking stick is uh, your voice matters always remember that your voice matters and the talking stick is a is a tool that you can use to help